Welcome to Da Nang, Vietnam's third biggest city and there is also three major things to do here. Today in this video we are going to do all three. We are going to try a famous Vietnamese <laughs> pancake called Ban Siao. Uh, you here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go up to the Golden Bridge up in Banner Hills, show you what that's all about. But first, let's start at one of the best beaches to go to here in Da Nang. Let's go. Back seal? Yes, please. I think I would have passed on this one personally. <laughs> What's this? Oh no, what have we done? Is this what we eat with? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he done that. <laughs> Yo, yes. Oh! No! If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Josie. Welcome back if you're new here. I love coffee. I always have to try the coffee. I have noticed that like, westernized versions of coffee, latte, America, uh, lattes, cappuccinos, all that aren't the best in Vietnam to my experience so far, but they make the best Vietnamese coffee, obviously. The Cafe Sua and Bac Siu are so good almost wherever you go, so that's really good. Let's have a look. Xin chào. Xin chào. Oh, Bac Siu. You have Bac Siu? Yeah. Mm. Can we have two Bac, bac Siu? Two Bac Yes, please. 44,000. 44,000. I don't know if you can hear me because it's quite windy, but look at our view. <laughs> Appreciating and sitting here like this on a lovely beach in Vietnam is a nice way to sit down and appreciate the beautiful country that we're in right now, which is good. I'm excited for my back seat. So this walk at the beach here has so many of these little like carts selling like coffee, there's like cocktails, some of them you can even get massages as you're sitting on the beach, which is really cool. There's a lot of seafood in this area. Seafood actually isn't me or Michael's favorite dish, unfortunately, but if you do like it, it is absolutely everywhere on this side of Da Nang. Okay, so we have spent the last few weeks starting in Saigon all the way up the side of Vietnam to the top in Hanoi. We are leaving some things to come back to next time, but we're gonna go try Ban Chow now. And kind of like a pancake thing, we eat that more, people eat more of that here than pho. So let's go grab some. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, come yeah. on. So what happened was I pressed change on that. Yeah. And I was thought I was doing option B, which was a drop off. But it changed option A to the pickup spot, and that was just like, <laughs> it's literally here. We, um, we, yeah. Mike accidentally put the wrong location where we're going in the grab in the phone. So we've been trying to use translate with our driver to get, get the new new location. Yes. Oh! No! It just crashed, they look okay. Oh! Just, just saying how it. dangerous it is driving in Vietnam because it's there's so many bikes. Using the translate and talking to our driver about it and we saw that crash. That was zoomed in on my face the whole time. If you don't want to die, then you will go with the bus in Vietnam. If you are not afraid of death, you can get a Yeah! <laughs> 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 How fancy <laughs> Thank you. We get small? Yes. Yeah, nice. Just one. Just one. Thank you. Come on. Just put the lid up for oh, us. There, there we go. It's, uh, you can't the see it. Vietnamese pancake. Yeah. Ban Xiao. I was going to get the lemon grass pork skewers also. So. Oh, have the. Nam Loi. Nam Loi. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Just. Nam Loi. Nam Loi. Yeah. yeah. What's this? Oh no, what have we done? Is this what we eat with? <laughs> no, they cook the pancake, right? Yeah. Then what's this? Xin chào. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Oh, yum. That's obviously where they put the like batter and they cook it on these like skillets. And I think the name actually comes from that. It comes from the like sound that it makes when it gets put on the skillet and is warm, I'm pretty sure. So she got like 10 going at once, look. And she's flipping them. All right, so I'm gonna try this just by itself first because honestly, it looks delicious. Mm. Yes, thank Lemon you. Lemon Come on. Do I put it is? Okay. <laughs> so one of these, like this. Like that. Like this. Put this 
Này là this. Có cái này này. Bỏ lại this lên cái. Cái này này này. Là this. Ờ, bỏ cái này vô. Some this. Ờ. Bỏ đi. À. Đó. Để ngang lại, để ngang lại. Bỏ this. À. Bỏ đó. À. Đi hết. À. Đi ạ. Ờ, bỏ xí ớt vô ăn cái này. Ờ, chili. Nó ra cái chấm đó. Xí này quấn nhỏ nhỏ lại tí, dễ chấm. Lấy này miếng trái này bỏ vô nè. <laughs> I'm not good at the rolling part. Bỏ vô đây chỉ quấn cái này. À, bỏ vô quấn cái này. À, roll tight. Yeah. À, đây. Yeah, perfect. Uh, uh. Perfect. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> so now it's nicely rolled. <laughs> now I have it tight, it tightly wrapped, which is much better than the way I did it. I'm gonna try it all together in one like rice paper roll. I love that. Mmm. <laughs> is this meant to be fish? I'm not sure. Something's giving a little fish. It's a fish sauce. Mm-hmm. So this is really good. You've got the like warm crispiness of this like Vietnamese pancake with all these like fresh greens. Like it's kind of like a spring, like a fresh spring roll kind of. I'm not sure what that's called in Vietnamese. Like the Vietnamese rolls that are fresh, not the fried spring ones. This is really good. Mm. You're not filming this, are you? No. I can't get enough of it. This is so good. So Michael got these like lemongrass. Really good. Nam loi. It smells like uh, like all these like different like spices. Mm. Definitely lemongrassy. It's really soft. The meat is so soft. So we've just absolutely demolished all of this food. It's so good. This was one of my favorites. I can't tell if I like this better or by me, but they're pretty, pretty damn close. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Okay guys, if any of you are still watching me from the Philippines, hello, look what I found. It's Jollibee. They have Jollibee here. Jollibee guys from the Philippines. Comment below if you're from the Philippines. Let me know you're still watching. I really like the food here. I really do. I think most of it's like super healthy. You're always getting some greens in, getting some nutrients, micronutrients, and it just tastes so good as well. So we are now heading back to where we're staying. We're about to head out to Banner Hills. It has been such a good weather day. Hopefully it stays like this. So we have just arrived here and he's just taking us to where we have to buy the tickets. <laughs> we always choose the complete wrong days to go out and do adventures. Oh, it just reminds me of the El Nido day and it was absolutely horrible weather, but it was still a great day. So let's hope for that <laughs> for us today. And we're gonna go up. Apparently if it's really bad with like clouds and rain, you can't even see the big hand that's meant to be here. Um, we're about to head up, I think in the cable car. This ticket includes a few things. I think it's like a, a garden or something like that. I don't know much about this place. So Michael just bought the tickets. Apparently they're like $40 US, but because we're Australian and our money right now is whoop, through the ground, um, we ended up paying $50 each. It was gonna be $40 Australian from my research that I'd done, but it's changed since that article was written. Oh, and she also said it was 150,000 extra for unlimited food and drinks, but we don't really want that. We'll just get what we want. Sometimes we don't even eat because we just want to see everything, so. Thank you. I'm actually excited. And I'm scared. <laughs> I haven't been in anything like this through our whole travels, except when I ziplined in the Oh, it went, oh, went really fast just all of a sudden. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this scarier oh, than the zip line? Look at all the. I did not expect that. It just started zooming. Once you're in, you kind of get used to the way that it feels. So I don't know what the top looks like, but we're about to find out. We're nearing the top now and it is so foggy. It's so high up. <laughs> and yeah, we're really high up. I don't know if you can see from here, but the fogginess up the top there is uh, really bad right now. The visibility looks like zero. It actually has been about 15 minutes. So it's a really long trip, but we still can't really see that much. There's nothing around us. <laughs> But what? Where are we going? I'm not sure. Hello! <laughs> oh, it's freezing. It's oh, it's cold! 
So this is the famous hand. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> My guess is as good as yours. It's back here somewhere. Um, we overheard a tour guide saying that if you just wait a couple of minutes, it kind of comes in and out of visibility when it's like this. Is that it? There it is. Okay, well it's certainly not a sunny, bright, beautiful day, but it is kind of moody. It's got like a Jurassic Park kind of stormy... I, I don't know, I'm trying to make the best of the situation, but it is freezing up here. <laughs> so even though it's not a bright, beautiful, wonderful day, there is something a little bit magical about being on a bridge held up by two hands and not really be able to see what's going on. It's kind of like moody, jungly, Jurassic Parky. It is what it is. It happens. Sometimes you pick the right day, sometimes you pick the wrong day. Do I look the same? Yeah, hang on. Okay, so one thing I have noticed is that there's souvenir shops and like little food stores everywhere. Everywhere. It's kind of like an airport. They like put you in here and then you have to buy stuff inside <laughs> if that makes sense there's like hot dogs there's like yes. little balls there's ice cream there's souvenir shops literally at every stop you go through and walking to those stops as well the best way to describe this i think is that i kind of feel like i'm in like a theme park it's like movie world or something do you know what i mean got all these like buildings and oh you okay michael just tripped <laughs> and you got this like garden that's obviously been made right but i don't know i feel like i'm in a theme park <laughs> yep I feel, like yeah. Sun, I feel like Sun World is a little bit false advertising. Is it called it's Sun like, World? Yeah, it's the yeah. opposite of that right now, isn't it? All of the weather aside, it is beautiful. If you look that way, there's like a big like dancer Cinderella character around a beautiful garden called the Love Garden. Don't worry, you can't move them. <laughs> Like the bittersweet feelings of separation, the Garden of Meditation is where couples find their way back to the love they felt, felt when they first met. All the secrets of love and find a happiness that will never end. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> okay, so this is a maze. Is this the entrance or exit? I think that doesn't matter. You go in one and come out. Doesn't matter? Alright, let's, let's try and find our way out. This reminds me of Harry Potter. Oh wow, it's actually bigger than I thought. I thought it'd be like a tiny little... Oh, it looks like, it feels like we're heading back towards the start. A little way to sit. Oh, someone's got their drink. <laughs> okay. I'm actually lost. I thought this would be really easy and small. We're on the way back? I don't know where to go ever. My sense of direction is zero. You're coming with me. Come on. Oh, we did! We got the right one! We're meant to come out here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah we so. did it. We did it. So I really don't think you can see this on camera, but we've come down this side, this way, and there's a big Buddha head right in front of us. Like here. Yeah, you can't, you can't see a thing. So there was, it started raining, so I've got my umbrella out. But it said there was a sign down there to the French village. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you have to get on another cart to get to the French village. Off we go. Oh. It wasn't as bad as the first one. For some reason, I thought the first one went like so fast. As a fashion buyer. It's pretty beautiful. I can't tell if it's pretty or not. I can't see it. And they did say there's an amusement park here. So I am excited. Oh! <laughs> the wind took my umbrella. <laughs> How do I fix it? It doesn't work that way. Hold it towards the wind. Yeah, yeah, he done that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sin Chow, Cappies yeah. have a uh, grande sized hot mocha. 2,000? 200,000? So we just stayed in Starbucks for a little bit because it started pouring basically with a lot of rain. We've come outside, it is still really bad weather at the moment and I'm trying not to get my camera wet under this umbrella. Okay, so the rain just started pouring down as we were walking so I have to put the camera away now, it's getting drenched. It is pouring rain now, I'm drenched and we can't find the cable car to get down. There's no one around anywhere. I'm drenched rain. I just want to go home. I just want to get down. How do you get in? I don't know. Okay, we made it back to the cable car. I still can't see a thing around us. Today cost us 
$100 for the both of us to get in and then $40 in the car to get here and back. So it was about a $150 day if you include the coffees we had as well. No food or anything like that. So for $150, do I personally think it's worth it? I'm gonna say no, it's not for me, but it is a good place if you'd like to go and get like Instagram photos, see some cool architecture, some cool buildings. But for 150 bucks, I think I would have passed on this one personally. Subscribe if you haven't already and put the notification bell on so you can see if we survive this cable car by when the next video comes out. Thank you so much guys, see you in the next one.